Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome once again to the eastern wing of the Stink Bug Works, where the mad scientist Dr. Jet is busy away in his labor Pooey laboratory. See? Unedited, unscripted, unrehearsed. Anyway, so the evil Dr. Jet is playing with his stuff. And here's what I'm playing with. I'm playing with yet another motor. I wasn't going to put any more motors in here until I heard from you guys. But I don't hear a whole lot going on. Steve's making one of these. And I haven't heard much from him. But using some of my test equipment, I had a bunch of these. I had five of these little outrunners. And I thought I was pretty sure what the KV was, but I wasn't 100% certain. So using this cool little motor analyzer, this is a great tool. It'll give you the uh, um, IO, the uh, internal resistance. It'll give you the KV. It won't give you the KT, but it has, uh, it'll give you the, the, the motor's timing. It'll also give you how noisy your bearings are. So it's a cool little toy. And then everybody needs one of these. It's a servo tester. So I can plug my speed control directly into here and operate the system without having a transmitter here. So this takes the place of a transmitter. This motor analyzer needs to know um, how many poles your motor has. And I was pretty sure this was a six pole motor, but I wasn't 100% certain. So here's a cool little trick. Um, you can see the magnets on the rotor here through these slots. And so I just marked each magnet with a line. And then using a compass, it says, oh, that's a Hello, that's a south, that's a north, that's a south pole there, and the next one's a north pole. So you can use a compass to determine how many poles. So it was, in fact, six poles. So there you go. I thought I'd, uh, while I'm busy discharging and storing batteries and such, I thought I'd let you know that I'm going to do one more power system try in here. Now, I was going to fit the same 2030 motor with slightly lower KV than this, that turned this into a spaceship back in here, but I didn't have a motor mount that fit it. And I did have a motor mount that fit this. So I said, well, what the hell? I'll put this motor in and see what happens. So um, there you go. You know, another thing I like about these, these little boats, get a load of this. I mean, how to mount your speed control, tack the wires onto the bottom of the hull and your speed control is now mounted. Yeah, see? Speed control is mounted. Tape the batteries onto the hatch and away you go. So look for that running next week. I did some changes on that little pointy red bird thing. When I put it on my setup board, I realized the rudder was kicked back a little bit, which would cause the transom to raise in a turn and spin me out. So I changed the angle of the rudder and I also put on a longer rudder, but I did it in such a way that I can easily go back to the shorter rudder. So we'll see how that works. So that may be the, the pair I take out next time. So look for that next Monday. Until then, jet out.